Hello everyone, and thank you for joining us today for our Marvel Champions Age of Apocalypse live stream. Today we're going to be playing through one of the scenarios, and here to join me for it are two you know, very familiar faces, everyone's favorites. We've got Caleb Grace and Tony Fanchi. So, are you all excited to be playing? Yeah. Definitely. Definitely? Uh, who would like to you know, explain what, what we're doing? I know that we've done the featurettes and everything, so people know what the scenarios are going to look like here in a couple weeks when the uh, campaign comes out. Mm -hmm. uh, but what, what are we playing today? Uh, scenario number one, playing uh, Fighting Unis, the, one of the prelates of Apocalypse. And uh, I think if people read the, the article, they saw he comes with this, uh, this new gene pool. Um, it's in the Infinite uh, set that's required for this scenario, so we're going to have to watch out for the number of allies get defeated. It's going to increase threat on there and make Unis stronger. We also have a couple new features. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to be showing uh, missions this time. Really excited for that. This is our first opportunity to share uh, mission gameplay from the Age of Apocalypse campaign. So this is a feature that's unique to the campaign. It's mm -hmm. for campaign mode only. Um, the idea was just to really innovate, try to do something we haven't ever done with Marvel Champions before. So we'll probably talk about that more when we get to it. Yeah, well, we're going to work to complete yeah. those missions. So yeah, we can chat a little bit more once there's things happening on the board. Yeah, and then Tony reminded me there's even something more new in here. So I'll let Tony describe yeah. it. Yeah, so we're going to be debuting the uh, new Standard 3 encounter set. So this is a, a new standard modular set that can be used in any scenario in place of the, the, the regular standard set or the standard two set. Um, I think Caleb can talk to some of the design goals for this, but the idea of this one was rather than having your nemesis pop out at you all at once, um, they're kind of pursuing you from the shadows. And so we're gonna start with an environment in play called Pursued by the Past. And every card in the Standard 3 Encounter set is going to be placing Pursuit counters on that card. And when a certain number of counters are on that card, that is when the Nemesis set is going to come out. So it, because we're playing three players here, when we get six counters on there, whoever placed that last counter is getting their Nemesis set put into play. That's super exciting. What a, what a fun, innovative way to like also know when it's going to happen, but you can't mm -hmm. do anything about it. You, yeah, you just got to play through it. <laughs> adds a real sense of foreboding to yeah. this scenario. It's really cool. And so we, we'll you know, obviously come along past some of the standard three encounter set cards as we go, so we'll make sure we call those out and uh, highlight them for everyone as well. Yeah. Uh, but we can also talk about who we're playing today. So I'm playing Psylocke, who we, I, don't, I think we played on stream maybe once. If it's been a while. while. It's yeah. been a while. So we want to give Psylocke a little more uh, attention here and try her mm -hmm. out. And so who are you both playing? I'm playing uh, Lucas Bishop, or just better known as Bishop. Um, he's one of the heroes in the Age of Apocalypse box, so I'm really excited to try him out here. It's been a while since I played him. <laughs> <laughs> we, we were talking about how new it is for me to be playing this, because right. I've not played any of this yet, but also very new for Caleb to you know, re yeah. replay here. Like I, it's been over a year oh, since wow. I was working on this set, so uh, I was relieved when Tony was going to join us, because Tony can remind me of all the rules I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> and I will be playing Ilyana Rasputin, also known as Magic. Nice. Yeah, the other hero from the box. Mm -hmm. The other hero from the yes. box. All right. So I think without further ado, let's, uh, let's get into it. Sure. So I saw you guys set me up with the first player token and also the, uh, the mission team card. Um, this is going to travel with the first player token. I don't know if we want to just show that real quick. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's, let's put this one up here where we had Pursued by the Past. Yeah. So this is one of the key mechanisms for the campaign mode, the mission team support. It travels with the first player token, and um, the first player then gains control of this action. Once per turn, you're going to exhaust this, and you're going to choose to either start a mission attempt or uh, play an ally to the mission for a uh, reduced cost of two. Uh, and I think we talked a little bit beforehand trying to plan it because, uh, again, Tony's saving me with the rule reminders. Um, <laughs> we get to start with an ally in our hand. And when you're playing campaign mode only, because they're so essential to the, um, the campaign structure and the mission attempts, uh, we have our normal hand size, but before we drew our cards, we got to search for one ally a piece. And you grabbed a pretty juicy one. Yeah. Do you want to start off with this then? So yeah, I'll just go on. ahead. Um, let's see. Oh, you're not actually going to get to play it yet. I'm just going to do this oh, on no. your turn, I guess. That was a lot of That's lead good. up for nothing. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> All right, we'll, we'll get to that. I guess on my turn, then, I'm going to just go ahead and play down Bishop's Rifle, spend a couple to do that, 
and then I'll go to hero form so I can use it. It says, uh, exhaust bishop's rifle, choose an enemy, deal one damage to that enemy for each resource card in your hand in the attack gains range, so I have exactly one in my hand, mm -hmm. uh, which is just enough to pop the tough off of Unis. And because it's ranged, I won't suffer the retaliate that he currently has. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and now that I've um, taken advantage of the resource in my hand, I'm going to use it to play down one of my signature allies, Malcolm. And would you guys like me to get rid of that retaliate that Unis has so you can attack him a little more freely? Sure. I think right that'd now, be good. Yeah, right now he, the, he says, well, there's three threat on the gene pool. He gains retaliate one, so I'll have Bishop thwart two off of gene pool. Nice. Right. Now, when you play uh, Malcolm, you chose to play him uh, as an ally for yourself. Uh, with missions, the other op option that you have is you can send your allies out on the mission because we cannot directly uh, thwart the mission. Mm -hmm. We have to send allies out to do the mission for us. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I chose to play Malcolm because he's my signature ally and there's a really cool card in here. I'm hoping to to draw a sidekick and, and yeah. show how that works a little bit. Totally. But let me do this now uh, as an action to reduce the cost of the next ally played to the mission, and then I'll pass play to you. Oh, amazing. So I think I will be playing an ally towards that mission, and so we can put this back towards that center camp. I'm going to be playing Captain Britain, uh, who we discussed a little bit beforehand, yeah. you know, did a little metagaming, but uh, it seems like a great option to be sending on this mission. So now that we're talking about sending them on the mission, what what does that entail for Captain Britain? So the mission area is like a separate game area from the rest of the game. And um, the, the, ga the expansion actually comes with this handy double-sided card with, nice. with all the rule reminders, so you don't have to go digging through the rule book every time. So cards in the mission area, mm -hmm. um, they are in play, but they're under no player's control. Okay. Um, so they're in play in ter terms of like uniqueness, like we couldn't play another Captain Britain, mm -hmm. but no one has control. And furthermore, all the cards that you play, oh sorry, all the allies that you play to the mission area, you treat their text as blank. Mm -hmm. So any keywords or, or any abilities or any of those things, they will not trigger. Uh, mm -hmm. What we really care about in the mission area is their, their attributes, their attack and their thwart, because they're going to use those when we eventually do a mission attempt, they're going to use those to try to deal damage to the Overseer minion mm -hmm. and remove threat from the mission side scheme. Um, so what makes Captain Britain such a great choice is he has those really beefy stats of, of three thwart and three attack. Um, and you know, we, we only had to pay two for him because of the mission card. So that's great. And the double uh, consequential damage just doesn't come into play because you're not actually thwarting or attacking um, the way the mission structure works is, is different, so mm -hmm. those are really nice choice. Yeah. It'll be more clear once we actually make the attempt. Yeah. I do have to tell you that you must be in hero oh, form to use these resources. That makes sense. Then I will discard these two that I originally planned to do um, right there. And so I think I do flip to hero form. Um, I will... Oh, no. This whole plan is gone. No, we're good. <laughs> uh, I wanted I wanted Angel, but we're gonna discard Angel for Training Regimen, uh, which is allows me to exhaust Training Regimen and search my deck for a skill card and add it to my hand. And if I'm in my hero form, I have to discard a card. But being able to find those skill cards seems important since I just discarded one. Um, and then I will use both of these side knives to play uh, Mental Detection. I think I will remove one threat from a scheme. So I'll, let's get rid of Gene Pool, mm -hmm. I think. Uh, and so I remove one threat from scheme, and for each side knife I control, remove two additional threat from that scheme. When you play that, you could flip those to katanas, so you could leave one side knife up to clear the rest of the threat and then draw a card with the other one. I will do that, yeah. Mm. Now I have a side knife and a side katana, so I will clear off Gene Pool, which nice. feels great, um, and then uh, draw the card with the side katana that I now have. Oh, wow, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> that felt good. Um, and then, do I draw a card? Well, do you, you're going to have to discard I, a card from hand, so exactly. if you want to replace that with a skill, that is an option. I, I you also have your basic uh, yeah. activation to use as well. Still deciding. Um, let's go ahead and... So Unis no longer has 
retaliate, correct? He does not. Yeah. Right. So let's just swing for so, yeah, start, two. Start punching. Start punching nice. into Eunice. So swing for two because I have the Psy Katana out. Mm -hmm. So that brings down to 34. Um, yeah, I think I'm good? good. Yeah, I think I'm great. I really like. All this right, um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna jump into hero form now. Uh, Ileana's got an ability that lets her put a spell card from her discard pile on top of her deck when she changes, but I'm hoping to see something else come up, so I'm not gonna do that right now. Um, the cool thing about magic is she plays uh, in hero form with the top card of her deck face up. Uh, the top card of my deck right now is a Spiritual med Meditation, which is a, uh, a reprint from uh, Doctor Strange's deck, yeah. I believe. Um, it's an action, draw two cards, choose and discard a card from my hand. That seems pretty good. So I'm going to use Magic's other hero ability. Once per phase, I may play the top card of my deck as if it was in my hand, reducing its resource cost by one. Unfortunately, that has no cost, so I don't get the discount, but I do get to draw two cards and then flip the next card of my deck face up. Uh, I do have to discard one from hand, so let's get rid of a full body charge. And what a great first card to have on top of your deck. Yeah. <laughs> Someone did mention the card that was on top of your discard pile. Earlier, the, the resource card. Yeah, the resource card they have not seen yet. I don't oh. believe. It's the... Uh, I believe we have seen it, but okay. this is brand new artwork yeah. for yeah. Power of the Aggression, yeah. all the way back to the core set. Oh, that's right. Yeah. That's cool. It's a reprint with new art. Mm -hmm. I all right. You like the art on so that you one. were half correct. You have seen yeah. the card before, but you have not but seen not this, this version. Not this version of it. Okay, well, I've got a handful of armor stuff, so I'm going to go ahead and get all set up with a oh, nice. Soul Sword. Mystical armor. Oh my gosh. And my crown. I think Tony stacked his deck. Yeah, I'm. For the start of the game. What? <laughs> I'm over here playing like an amateur, shuffling and drawing. Yeah. So like my, my soul sword gives my basic <laughs> attacks piercing, and while the top card of my deck has a physical or wild uh, resource icon, I get plus one attack. My mystical armor gives me retaliate one, and while I've got an energy or wild on top, I get plus one defense. And uh, the crown gives me steady, and while the top card of my deck has a mental or a wild, I get plus one thwart. I currently have an energy up there, which is plus one defense. Not super helpful, um, but I will just swing in and punch Unis for two. All right. And that's going to be it for me. All right. I so think now we're all we done then, right? Ready up and draw. That four hand size does hurt now. Yeah. Feels so good though. All right. So the start of the villain phase, we need to put three onto hunting gene traders, and then it has an ability that puts one on the gene pool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And now that I'm first player in hero form, Unis wants to attack me. Yep. So yeah, if you want to give him, I'm going to let this go undefended because uh, I kind of want to take damage over here to trigger my response. So let's see what he gets. The boost says place two threat on gene pool. That puts him at three, which gives oh. him retaliate one, which isn't going to matter right now. Oof. All right, so it says, uh, so he's hitting me for two, and Bishop says after Bishop takes any damage, so I'll go down from 12 to 10. I discard an equal number of cards from the top of my deck and then I add each resource card discarded this way to my hand. So I'm discarding two, one, two, and no resource cards that time. All right. Get good, Bishop. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, Unis is attacking Psylocke. You yep. want to defend? I don't think so. We'll, we'll try this time. All right, just a one boost, so three one. attack total. All right. And I've got an energy on top of my deck, which gives me three defense. Um, but I think I'm just going to take the attack undefended. So we've got a boost, an infinite hunter here. Choose to either place two threat on gene pool, or the activating enemy gets plus two scheme and plus two attack for this activation. Oof. How do we feel about a couple more threat? That doesn't put him at the six level. Are, are we doing a fair amount of thwarting this turn? Uh, I think it's your call. I can help with my two thwart. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll just throw two threat on there. 
So he's only hitting me for two. Nice. And Boy, that went back up really quick. Yeah, I felt like I did such a good job. Yeah, and <laughs> yeah you and I brought a lot of threats on. What's this yeah, guy doing over there? Apparently bringing five <laughs> back to it. All right, let's see what we got. Uh, targeted for extermination. That doesn't sound good. Uh, this is a uh, crisis icon, three threat side scheme. When defeated, the player who defeated this scheme confuses their identity. Mm. Yeah, I was right. That's not good. Yeah. It's not helping us at all. All right, I have... Uh, prelate armor. So I attach to Eunice. Let's bring this over here. Um, and it's force response. After Eunice schemes, give him a tough status card. And a hero, respo so hero response is after you make a basic attack against Eunice, spend uh, two resources, discard this card. Actually, tough isn't too bad because we've got a lot of piercing on the table between yeah. your katanas and my soul sword. Yeah, mm. that's terrible. All right, Infinite Prelate. So this is one of Unis's signature cards. When revealed, Unis activates against you. If the amount of threat on Gene Pool is at least three, we're going to give him a tough status card. So he's going to attack against me. Maybe I will defend this time. So I'm still three defense. He's swinging for two and attach this card to an infinite minion. We have no infinite minions, so that's just going to be a zero boost, and I will okay. take no damage. Uh, I will retaliate one off of his ping, and oh. I should have also retaliated one for the initial attack. So that'll that'll knock the tough that'll status knock off. That'll knock the tough of him, off, yep. The one he just got. So it was here and then gone. All, All right. right. You are the first player. You get control of mission team. All right. I think our first thing we should decide is do we want to play an ally to the mission, or do we want to try a mission attempt this turn? Uh, I have no allies in hand, unfortunately. I think we're going to want to wait till we get more allies. Um, Does I anybody mean, have an ally they want to play this turn? Uh, that is a negative for me, unfortunately. I, I have an ally I could play to, yeah. to the mission. All right. We'll plan on that then. All right, we'll plan. Yeah. So, I, how important do we think the guard and patrol keywords are here? Uh, I, I don't know how much there is in this at the moment. Yeah, yeah. Seeing, yeah, so that's that's gone then. Don't even worry about it. Um, all right. So do we want to? Do we want me to start thwarting, or should I just keep keep doing what I was doing and attacking Eunice? Uh, let's. We got a lot of threat out there. I think we want to keep the gene pool low. Get rid of that crisis if we can. I'm yep. gonna remove two from something with Bishop. I mean, okay. between Bishop and Malcolm, I could take care of the targeted, targeted for extermination altogether. Then I can get G. Then I'd be confused. I can take out targeted for extermination, and I have steady, so the confuse won't actually impact Oh, my. Me. All right. Nice. I'm going to uh, let you do that. Should, I, I can do that right now, if you want to call for an action, Xander. Yeah, I'd love to. All right, so I'm going to play the top of card of my deck as if oh. it's in my hand, reducing its cost by one to play an exorcism here, spending one other resource, oh. remove four threat from a scheme, flip the top card of my deck. Oh, unfortunately, I miss out on a confuse. Had that next card been a mm. mental or wild, we would confuse the villain. Oh, that'd be nice. But it is an energy. Uh, so you get a confuse, but you're set. I do get a confuse. I'll put that here. Okay. Cool. All right. Well, Nicely I, handled. Yeah. I think I can do quite a bit to the gene pool. Uh, there's five on there. I think I can get all five. So I'm going to use both of these, and I will flip my Psy, or psy Katana into a Psy Knife um, and pay, uh, use those two for mental detection again. That's the one mm. that Tony was laughing at right after I uh, got to draw a card. So I'll remove one threat from a scheme, and for each side knife I control, remove two additional threat from the scheme. So let's just bring that down to zero. Very nice. That felt good. Um, unfortunately, oh, wow. that hurts my ability to do some damage to uh, Eunice. That's all right. But hmm, I, th I think I will use Training Regimen. Search my deck for a skill. Hmm. Got to figure out which one. Oh, that's cool. Yep, that's the one. I'll shuffle that up in a second. Um, I'll discard Psionic Redirect 
um, because I have to discard one since I'm in hero form. Mm -hmm. And then I'll discard psionic training to play for martial arts training. So I get plus one defense and uh, hero response after Psylocke defends against an attack, discard martial arts training to ready Psylocke. Um, and then with one card left, I think I'm good. All right. Or wait, uh, might as well do one, right? Mm-hmm. Or yeah. thwart one off or the main. Well, you're thwarting for three, oh. so. Oh, yeah. Sword, oh, yeah, I am thwarting for three. Yeah, let's, uh, let's thwart for main. three. Yeah. There you go. You're right. Almost forgot the cool stuff that Psylocke herself can do. Mm -hmm. Was that like eight threat you removed that turn? Yeah, it was eight threat. <laughs> That'll do, Xander. That'll do. <laughs> Everything I do, just to make sure Caleb's proud of me on this. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I... How concerned are we about the plus one scheme from the the armor? Not too concerned now that there's nothing on it. Mm -hmm. All right, I will continue with some build up. Uh, so I'll play the blood gem and blood rage. I got blood everywhere, uh, and that one resource <laughs> is not going to be enough for me to play my last card. And I've already used my ability to play the top card of my deck, so that is it. Okay. Nice. I was sad to see I discarded Bishop's uniform, so my plan is to go back to Alter Ego, because I think I can, I can take it back. So first, I'll do a little damage, I guess. Uh, Bishop will attack Unus for two. And I don't see a particular reason to use up Malcolm yet, since I'm, I'm still kind of hoping to draw sidekick eventually. So uh, what I'm going to do, because I don't have any resource cards, unfortunately, to do that. I'll go Alter Ego. I have response. After I change this form, add a temporal card from my discard pile to my hand. That's clutch. That's, yeah. Yeah, Bishop's Uniform might be the best card in his deck. Um, I can throw it out there for people to look at in case yeah. they haven't seen it yet. Let's put that one um, so that's going to cost me two resource. And I will use those two. Um, okay, and then I think I'd like you to do the action to reduce the cost of the next ally yes. to the so mission. Exhaust. Yeah, you just tap it as all. Well. And then, yeah, uh, let's let's get Randall Ooh. to the mission. So there's two thwart, one attack, several hit points, and that's uh, yeah, that's going to be it for my turn. Right. Hold on to this one card. Ready up and draw. We get three threat onto the main scheme and one onto Gene Pool. And Unis is attacking Psylocke for two and a boost. Oh, okay, two and a boost. Do I defend this time? I think you got I do. the plus one defense. That's uh, yeah, I think I do. So defending three uh, after this activation resolves, place one pursuit counter on pursued by the past. So oh. that is one of the standard three. There it is. The past is coming back to haunt me right now. Somebody's looking for you. <laughs> All right, Unis is attacking me. I have another energy on top of my deck, so I am defending for three, but. I think I'd rather keep my basic activation, so I will just take it undefended. And we have another standard three after this activation resolves. Place a pursuit counter on pursued by the past. Oh, so two damage. There's another. And just so people are watching know, uh, the target number we're looking for is three more than the number of players, okay. so six in this case. Okay. So yeah. one third of the way there. And now he's scheming against scheming me. Scheming for two plus uh, you are stunned. If you were already stunned, you Boo. would take two damage. Nice. Bishop does not like being stunned. <laughs> Does anybody well, like being stunned? Yeah, that means the villain's doing their job then, right? Mm-hmm. Right, well, so if I go see first. a great movie, I don't mind being stunned. <laughs> Blown away. Wow. Uh, Infinite Soldier. Oh, right after I said, are we going to see... Oh, wait, was that guard? No. I <laughs> yeah. Think, yeah, so guard. If the amount of threat on gene pool is at least three, well, there's one, so nothing. none of this happens, so we're in good shape, just a one-two. Yeah, they get nasty the more threat that is out there. All right, I have flipped my uh, obligation, Dark Child. I may flip to Alter Ego and remove it from the game. If I don't, I deal one damage to each character I control. It is only one damage, but I'll take the free flip down and I'll get rid of that. Hmm. 
She's yeah. like literally throw it away. Like just yeah, <laughs> out of the floor. <laughs> it's, like, it's got a trash bin back there. Yeah. All right. Oh, this one's your obligation. Oh, cool. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. Well, you can throw it in the trash too. When yeah. You're done with it. <laughs> so I cannot flip my Psy Katana upgrades. When revealed, flip each of my Psy Energy upgrades to the Psy Katana inside and up and exhaust it. That's cool. Oh, that's rough. Uh, discard one Psionic card from my hand and I can discard this obligation. So. I guess I know what I'm up to this round. Mm -hmm. All right, first player tokens passing. I yep. have to flip the Here's top card of my deck down. Okay, are we looking at a mission attempt this turn, or do we want to get another ally down? I think ideally one more ally. Mm -hmm. uh, because don't... when you do the mission, you're going to discard cards from the top of your deck, mm -hmm. um, one for each ally at the mission. Yep. So the more that you discard, the more opportunities you have to hit matching results. Does anybody have an ally? Not this time. I I have Marrow. She is uh, two cost, one thwart, two attack. Uh, only Get, two hit points. Getting her down for free seems pretty good. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, I will. I'll start with a spiritual meditation, which lets me draw two and then discard one from hand. I did not draw into a better ally, so I think Marrow's our mm -hmm. go-to girl. Um, let's see, ah, I found Limbo, that is excellent. So I will play Limbo. Um, do I wanna put a card on top of my deck? We're doing pretty good on threats, so maybe we start going for face. So I'm gonna flip to hero form. When I change form, I choose a spell in my discard pile and put it on top of my deck. Uh, what do I got left in hand? I do have one of those in hand. Uh, to get the benefit out of that, I want to put a physical. Do I have a spell with a physical? I do. So I'm going to put a magic barrier on top of my deck. Flip to hero form. Uh, let's do a soul strike for two resources. That should be face up. <clears throat> so do four damage to an enemy. If the top card of my deck has a physical or wild icon, it does. We will stun that enemy. So oh. let's do four. Hmm. Unless you want, nah, that'd be a waste of the, you can take care of your soldier, right? I, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do four to the, four to Unis and stun him. Sounds good. Yep. All right. I could play a card off the top of my deck. Um, Which one is it? It's Magic Barrier. It's an interrupt, so I can't actually play it right now. Um, and unfortunately, I emptied my hand, so I can't swap. So maybe not the most ideal uh, it's a pretty play, good turn but already. Uh, I'll take this done. Yeah. That's sure. my turn. I'll pass it to Caleb. Do you want to uh, reduce the cost? Yeah, let's get And let's get just Mero play Marrow there. down there for free. I was I was kind of holding on to her because she has a pretty awesome response. After you play her, you can deal two damage to an enemy. Mm. But because we're playing her to the mission, her text box is blank, so I won't I won't get the free damage this time. But I think we're in a good spot to attempt a mission next turn. We've got a total of six attack and six thwart over there now between all three allies. So if we're lucky and they all participate, that'll be a pretty big swing. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, meanwhile, I am stunned. I'm not crazy about that. Nothing else to do in Alter Ego, so I'm going to flip to Hero, and I'm going to attempt to make a basic attack just to clear the stunned. And let's see what I can do with these. Um, am I the only one with the allies out at the moment? Mm-hmm. Looks like. Oh, wait, I can do this. I have Bishop's Rifle. And one resource again, so would it make a difference to you if I hit him for one? I mean, I could finish him off with Malcolm. Um, that would be, I think, either way. I, th I mean, I want to feel like I accomplished something if okay. I do that. So I'll pop him for one, and then Malcolm will finish him off. So the, the infinite soldier is good. He's gone. That oh, hang on. Let me, let me just remember what my cards do and play a little smarter than that. Because if I play the advanced suit first... Oh, nice. Then he heals one after defeating that guy. Very nice. Even better. That's, yeah. Look at that. 
I know what my cards do. <laughs> so you do feel like you got something done. Eh, you know. <laughs> and uh, next time I'll try to do it in the right order. Uh, let's see. I kind of want to hold on to this stored energy card to start doing real damage with Bishop's Rifle. Let's see. He's not boosted up his attack or anything yet, right? No, nope, he's just a two. Okay. Then I'm going to spend two cards to play down team training. This is a, a reprint. Each ally I control gets plus one hit point. And that's my turn. I'm going to hold on to that resource. Cool. I'm going to test your knowledge between the two of you. Are okay. there any skill and psionic cards in this deck? Um... I don't think so. Don't think so? Okay, because that would that'd be cool. That'd be a great day for me, but unfortunately <laughs> it's not. Uh, so I don't think I'm going to be able to get rid of this until next, the next round if I want to do anything cool this mm. round at all. Oh, I have to discard a card from my hand to do Ooh. that. I was like, that's a little easy to just heal. So I won't be saving any cards. Fair. I'm going you know, to discard three damage. to do Flurry of Blades, deal two damage Ouch. to an enemy uh, for each... Psy Katana, uh, I control, choose an enemy and deal two damage to it. So I'll just deal six to Eunice. Um, and to 19. Nice. Then I will flip, and I am still exhausted, and I have no cards. I'll still uh, do Training Regimen just to, just to see what we got going on here. Sure. Find myself a skill. All right. That it? Yep. Yeah. So we can ready up and draw. So I just ended up using stored energy to pay for team training, discarding a card for Malcolm, so I was able to hold on to one. Oh, man. All right. Two, three, four. Hopefully that works better. So we're getting three thread on the main and one on the gene pool. Didn't do as Still much Still has not hit the three threshold on gene pool, so we're safe for now. Uh, he wants to attack me, but is stunned. Mm -hmm. He wants to yeah. attack Bishop for two and a boost. Yeah, so I have uh, energy conversion. This is a defense event. When I'm attacked, shuffle each resource card in my discard pile into my deck, and I cannot take more than three damage this turn. So I just had two resource cards. I'm going to shuffle these into my deck, and I'm going to let it go undefended. Four total attack. All right. So I would have taken four, but energy conversion says I take just three. So I'll, <clears throat> I'll go down to seven. And then I'll discard the top three. See if I get... Yeah, there's a resource. Two resource. Okay, that nice. felt better than last time. Yeah, much better. Nice. All right, any scheming on Betsy? For oh, and I have uh, Bishop's uniform. After I resolve his ability, I exhaust it to heal one damage for each resource card in my hand, which is three now. So nice. I'll just heal all three of that damage back. Yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty good. That's, yeah, that's, that's fine. Yes, sir. <laughs> all right, so he's scheming uh, for two. We're going to place two threat on Gene Pool, bringing us to four there. And after he uh, schemes, we're going to give him a tough status card from you. his attachment. Yes. And some encounter cards. Starting with me, I've got a Dark Designs. This is a standard three card. Place one Pursuit counter on Pursued by the Past. Then if it has any counters on it, the villain schemes. All right. So he's going to scheme for two, and two is four. Oh, oh boy. Five. five. I think you have a Here's five. A five. Here's a five. Okay. Yeah, I right. he's up to 12 already. Oh, All right. man. What do we got here? I have a 33. Yeah. Drawing nearer. Oh, this is from the standard three set. This is an obligation. Um, so it's just going to come sit with me here. Forced response. After your turn begins, discard the top card of your deck. Place one pursuit counter on pursuit by the past for each printed resource icon. On the, well, with my luck, I'll hit one of my <laughs> resource cards here, too. Yep. Alter ego action. Discard an identity-specific card from your hand to discard this card. So I have to go to alter ego to get rid of this. No chance I can do that before my next turn begins. Alrighty. And your card? Alright, let's find out. Infinite Hunter. Two scheme, three attack. Uh, when revealed, deal three damage to an ally you control. Which I control no allies. Been. This is great. Yeah, you uh, lucked out there. Yep, and so we will have to deal with an Infinite Hunter now. This is uh, kind of messed up that I had to keep dealing with this one. All I want to do is <laughs> thwart, and I had to keep dealing all this damage. Well, let's see. Alright. 
Do we have any allies we want to play to the mission, or should we go ahead and do a mission attempt? I'm going to do both. Okay. Um, I've got, well, I've got six worth of resources in my hand, yeah. not a lot else to play. So I'm just going to um, pay full price for X23. Nice. So that'll, I'll spend a genius and uh, let's see. Yeah, I'll do, I'll toss that too. Okay, so now I have uh, four allies at the mission. Yeah, That's I think huge. we could. Can I think we could do some zoom damage. in on the mission area over here. Oh, actually, you know what? You know what I need to do? I need to. Re I need to remember the turn order. Before <laughs> I play X twenty three, I want to use the rifle while I still have three resources in my oh, hand, yeah. so I can do three damage. Oh, is he tough? You can put it on the hunter. Yeah. Good, then I can. And Malcolm can finish it off. Yeah, yeah. Let's just put three. Okay. I guess it didn't make too much difference. All right, but that's that. Okay. Then we get X twenty three down, and then we do a mission attempt. Yeah. You want to walk us through it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. They, you want to look at my With card? Yeah, I need my, I need my cheat sheet. sheet. It's been a minute. All right. So when we make a mission attempt, this is really handy. You know, it's all here. There's uh, five steps. So step one is I'm going to. Discard X cards from the top of my deck, where X is number of allies at the mission. So we have four allies. Mm -hmm. So four cards from the top of my deck. One, two, three, four. All right. Uh, next, we're going to assign each of the discarded cards to a different ally at the mission. And what we're trying to do is match the uh, icons. So I see like a, a physical can match to X23. Mm -hmm. um, this is going to be tricky. Well, no, I see an energy will match to Marrow. Mm -hmm. And now what's nice is uh, Randall has a, a wild icon, so anything matches with him. So we'll do my other physical for that. And then this has a wild, which matches to anything I want on that end. Wow. So all four are going to activate. This is great for us. That's, that's the best possible result. Just Sometimes you only get like, you know, a couple of them. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and one of them will just be, uh, you know, out of sorts for the moment. All right, so step three then is we're going to gather uh, the damage tokens uh, equal to our total attack, which I, it was six previously, it's now it's nine. nine. All right, so we got five, eight, nine. And then we're going to dole them out, because there, there might be more minions that show up. Mm -hmm. um, what, which, did, did we put that set in? It's in there. Good. We just okay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there are other minions that can, like, land in the... Okay. in the mission area, mm -hmm. and they kind of serve as guards to the, uh, to the overseer. But yep. at the moment, they're not there, which means we can put all nine on Abyss, which is pretty great. Yeah, that's huge. Oh, you know, so Abyss has a mission response, which happens after we discard cards. Uh, his ability says, after you discard cards, attach each card with a wild resource discarded uh, to Abyss face down. So we don't actually get oh, to use right. Captain Britain. No. Well, that's um, why he's mean. So and, we'll take three damage yeah. off of that. And unfortunately, we don't have any other other wilds, so we're not mm -hmm. going to be able to use him. Oh. Uh, so that's, that's, a, that's a bummer, but uh. Uh, the different overseers give you kind of a different flavor mm -hmm. for your mission attempts. Yep. Uh, so we do get, we do get uh, two for uh, threat removal from the mission, okay, bringing us down to 11. And then I believe the last step is we discard the, the discarded cards. We uh, actually... Yep, those are gonna go away at the end of every mission attempt. And there's also on the mission itself, uh, I believe is a, a forced response after resolving a mission attempt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, after you resolve a mission attempt, place one attempt counter here and deal one damage to each ally at the mission. Uh, if there are four attempt counters here, the mission ends, so basically you only get four shots at completing mm -hmm. it. So that was uh, that was an okay first attempt. I think mm -hmm. we we got thwarted a bit by Abyss there. Abyss is uh, one third gone, and that's good, mm -hmm. and a little less than one third of the threat. So yeah, hopefully we. But now I just realized too, I, I I forgot to do this drawing near, so I'm just going to do it now. After my turn begins, discard top card on my deck. Place one pursuit counter um, for each <coughs> resource is just one. Oh, nice. So it's up to four out of six. All righty. So yeah, that was the first mission attempt. And uh, yeah, it looks promising. Although Meryl only has one left in her. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, meanwhile, over here, has anyone else got allies in their hand? They're playing the play down. I could give you guys a, a team training. I do not. Oh, I could play Pete Wisdom. I wonder if we want to get him to the mission. Yeah. Yeah. I, I could get him, because I, I, no matter what, I have to, you know, get rid of body swapped here. Now I feel like if you do, I should have done this action speed <laughs> after you played him. That's all right. That's all right. Yeah. That's all right. Live and learn. Mm -hmm. Can you get rid of drawing near? Uh, yeah, I can go, um, yes. I can go alter ego, which, uh, well, let me, let me do something useful with him first. Maybe just finish him off. Sure. I'll finish him off. Yeah, so yeah. that's that's huge for me. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, so then I go Alter Ego. I get to return a Temporal card to my hand to see what I got. While you look for that, we got a question, which is, how does Start. Digging Deep work with missions since they are being discarded? Um, I believe deep. it would uh, go into your hand because it is being... To heal the damage off of him. Nice. Eventually I get it right. Okay. That's my turn. All right. So I am going to start by discarding Telepathy um, to get rid of Body Swapped. Yes. So I'll just put that over there. Uh, let's go ahead and flip to my hero side. And we wanted me to play Pete Wisdom, right? Yeah, I think so. Let's get him out there. Let's pay those two and these. Oh, Bishop took a Retaliate from two. Attacking Unus. For Pete. Mm. Sending all of my all of my friends out there for that mission, um, and then I'm still in the side katana, so I think I will swing for three into Eunice. You'll get one retaliate, and I'll get one retaliate, which is which is fine. Right, so he's down to sixteen. You said him for three. Uh, yes, and I'm going to use directed force uh, since I have uh, piercing for this okay. attack. I'll do two additional damage. Oh, nice! All right, he's down to fourteen. I think that's it for me. All right. Um, let's see. I'm going to use Limbo to swap a card in hand with the top card of my deck. Let's. Uh, hmm, hmm, I should put something I want to play up there. Let's swap the power of aggression with this test of defense or test the defense. Um, and I have not played a card yet, so I'm going to clobber Unis for three damage. And it's because it's the first card I played this round, I return it to my hand. So can I get three damage on Unis? Yes, that's great. Um, Eleven. Then I will, I will play Scrying, which is an action. Look at the top three cards of my deck, draw one, discard one, and put one back on top. Uh, mm. I will put a soul strike on top. I'll take the test the defense in the hand and I'll discard the clobber. Then I will spend one to play test the defense. And I will then use my ability to play the Soul Strike at a discount, spending one. Uh, deal four damage to an enemy, so we'll go to Unis. The nice. top card of my deck has a physical, or wild, it has a physical, Ooh. so we get to stun him as well. Ooh, all right. And because I played an attack event, I get to put a token on Test the Defense. Um, all right, so I've got a physical on top of my deck, which means I'm plus one attack, so I'll swing for three. Oh, he's down to four. four. Yeah. That's pretty good. And... And you can do four more somehow with one card in hand. You've got it. Uh, I cannot. I am <laughs> right. done. That's probably okay. All right, so that's my turn. Uh, so uh, They did ask if you could re-explain the digging deep. Uh, how that worked because it buffered for everyone, <laughs> unfortunately, right as you were explaining it. <laughs> yeah, um, I, I would have to double check the rules, but Digging Deep is being discarded from the top of your deck, so you will still match its wild with one of the cards in play, but then Digging Deep will go into your hand rather than your discard pile. Nice. 
There you go. All right. I Hopefully think we're, it doesn't buffer again. <laughs> yeah, ready to ready up and draw. All right. My brain is still buffering. Oh, I feel that. <laughs> it's it's Tuesday for sure. Yeah. Uh, three, four. Oh, I should have taken some retaliate. So let's see. I attacked him t twice, three times. Ooh. And I can potentially get him oh. this phase. That's it's a little scary. Just drew one of my favorite cards. Oh, really? I think I'm okay. Yeah. All right. Um, oh, they want to see Soul Strike and Magic Barrier a little closer. Yeah, mm. let's let's show them off. We can put it right here in the middle. Magic Barrier. Oh, that would That's be. That's her defense. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's show those off. All right. Um, adding threat to the main scheme and to gene pool. Can I get a three for yep. the main scheme? All right. Wow. Now he is stunned against, nope, he's going to scheme on Bishop. Yeah, I mean, Bishop. I'll do you go. So two and two is four, and we Jeez. give him a, a tough status. Do we have a five over there? Yeah, here's a five. Here's the top. top. Okay. Oh, so let's see, that was though? in my hand, that was in this card. We might have to do something about that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. He's attacking Psylocke, but is stunned. Great. Now he's attacking me. So I'm at three health. Um, oh, boy. Are you in danger gosh. here? Should Actually, I? you know what? I could block um, with Malcolm. I can defend. And I'm gonna at up. the at the start of the villain phase. I'm gonna use Limbo to swap the top card of my deck with a card in hand. Oh yeah. Uh, and now I'm going to play my Magic Barrier at a discount of one. So when he attacks me, um, when the when an enemy initiates an attack, prevent three damage from this attack. Nice. So as long as he doesn't get a four boost, which I don't think is possible. Um, <laughs> I, I should be fine. So his boost is just a one. Oh, so easy. So three damage, all of that is prevented. Um, nice. It, there's more on this card. If the top card of my deck has a, an energy or wild, it does not, unfortunately. It is a physical. All right, so that was activations. We go to cards. Thanks, Tony. Thank you. All right, so I'm first over mm -hmm. here. Worldwide Crisis is a treachery. It says, when revealed, choose. Either place three threat on the mission side scheme mm. or take one damage and this card gains surge. Hmm. I really don't want to put more threat <laughs> on there. Uh, so yeah, this is, this is one of the cards from the, um, the campaign encounter set. This is used whenever you're playing uh, the campaign mode with the missions. So I think I will take one damage. And I will surge. And it's going to be an infinite soldier, which there's five. There's five there. out there, yep. Okay, so it's not gaining. Wow, one more and it would have surged. Oh, man. So I'm glad we didn't let it get to all the way to six. Yeah. All right, so that was that. All right, I have Worldwide Crisis as well. Oh, Ooh. boy. Um, can you take a damage? I can take a damage, yeah. Okay. Let's, let's find I out. I think that's the right call. Yeah. Hunted. All right, discard a card from my hand. Discard this card. It's an alter ego action. Yep. Great. Love that for me. And Genetic <laughs> Experiments uh, is an attachment attached to an infinite minion, oh, which we've here. got one over there. Yeah. Attachment gets plus two hit points, also plus one attack and plus one scheme. And Forced Interrupt, uh, when attached minion is defeated, place two threat on Gene Pool. Ugh. Oof. Who made these cards? <laughs> <laughs> Some kind of masochist. <laughs> All right, Still. is that uh, that's the end of the villain phase? So it is. Either right. first player now. Great. So, Infinite Soldier is still three, correct? He is it has uh, five. Three five attack, two. five hit points. I was going to try to do Eunice and Infinite Soldier, but I don't think I can pull off. Uh, I I can take care of this guy. Care, take care I of that. Yeah, I got um, I got that. Then I will go ahead and do Psylocke and the Psy Katanas. Swing into Eunice for three. And piercing. Uh, 
And then piercing, right? yep, and directed force so you, to go for two more. You cut through the tough. Cut and, through. So you don't have to exhaust your oh, yep. katanas. Yep. All right, oh, so yeah. we defeat stage one. Uh, okay. Stage two has 45 health. And toughness again. And toughness. All right, tough same, guy. same abilities, though. He gains retaliate at three threat on gene pool. He gains stalwart at six threat. We've done well to not let that go over five. That's, yeah. That's yeah. where it gets really mm -hmm. hairy. So I think I'm going to do concussive blow using these. And, um, oh, man. I have to discard a card either way from my hand. So all these are going away either way. So I'll discard power of the mind. Concussive blow, uh, confuse an enemy. Uh, if I paid for this using that icon, the physical one, deal three damage to an enemy. Uh, so I'll just confuse and deal three damage. Well, he's but tough. Always oh, tough. Yeah. So yeah. Well, it'll at least confuse him. Okay. All um, right. That, unfortunately, so I had no thwarting. That attack will oh, get is, you the retaliate. He is retaliate, so <clears> he'll, <throat> he'll pop you for one there. That's all right. And then I will flip over, and I will discard mm. a card from hand to discard. This card. Yeah, best not to leave that one around. That yeah. hazard icon is mean. Mm. I yeah, we need that out of here. Oh, we uh, need to do some thwarting though. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I, it was the first time this whole game where I did not have yeah, any thwarting you abilities said it all earlier. Yep. <laughs> I, it looked so cool earlier though. Do it we want to do a mission attempt? Um, yeah, I think so we, we can do it at any time during the ra during the phase. Yeah, do I'm we want to do it now? I'm not playing another ally to the mission. Uh, I could, but we probably, I think we need more help here than we right. do on the mission. Yeah, like I yeah. don't think, what do we have, like five of these guys on the yeah. mission already? Yeah. So we probably don't need any more. Those, the, the, Pete Wisdom added a lot of stats. Yeah. Yeah, I'm feeling Should good. We, let's go ahead and do the mission. All right, so walk me through this. I discard the so top five. five. Yeah, exhaust the, uh, the mission card. Exhaust <clears> the mission <throat> card. Discard. Concussive blow, another one. And Abyss is going to capture any wilds, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. That's his special. But no so wilds. No it's wilds. actually good for us. Yeah. Is that the perfect that may be, result? Yeah, that may be perfect. We got the two mentals for yep. the Captain Britain and yep. Pete Wisdom. Yep. We're just matching up icons. We have two. We have a physical and energy, and then the extra physical. Yeah, we'll match to Randall. Love so it. Nice. So they're all participating. Oh, okay. This is a big money turn. Just the way I planned it. That's yeah. right. From now on, Zander, much you better, do mission. Much uh, yeah, better mission leaders. Sure. <laughs> All right, so we've got three, five, eight, ten, eleven damage. Uh, that's the end of Abyss, isn't it? Yeah. Oh wait, is he that's plus? Ten. How many plus hit points does he get for those cards he captures under him? Does he get any? Uh, he does not get plus hit points. So I think I'm thinking of his He is defeated. Version. Oh. Nice. And he's got victory, so he'll go to yeah. victory display. All right. And oh, I get my will card back. Go back to your hey, congrats. All right. All right, and then we're removing three, six, seven, eight, ten threat. We'll just one, one threat <laughs> on the mission. That's devastating. Oh, so if only Britain our, had uh, joined us on the last yeah, one. Yeah, no okay. so we get our second counter there. We get some damage on everybody. Marrow's, Marrow's gone. gone. Yeah. But that was actually a fantastic result, getting everybody mm -hmm. in there. Yeah. All right, so all these. So. When you're actually playing, you don't need to slide the cards underneath the the, uh, the allies. We're just doing that for demonstration purposes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So oh, somebody did ask though, what yeah. are the rewards, both in game and in the campaign, for defeating the? Or well, like you'll find missions? out when we do it. I mean, yeah, that's come right. on. Yeah, that's true. No, yeah, I know we're all excited to show. Actually, Tony and I talked ahead of time about like which one, because there are four different missions. Mm -hmm. Uh, there is a fifth one for the fifth scenario, but it's always the same. It's it's super important. But the other four can appear in random order, okay. um, so that your campaigns will have some you know variety. It won't mm -hmm. always be the same mission with the same scenario. Um, so technically, you'd shuffle them, get random. But we thought you know just to put on a good show and answer that specific question of like what's the hype, you know? Yeah. So I'm very excited. We're gonna yeah, keep you waiting ready. until we actually defeat it, and then you guys will get to see. Love it. Let's do it. Uh, I'm good. All you, Tony. All right. Do you need help with your soldier over there? Uh, actually, no. I'm going to be able to deal three with uh, my rifle and then finish him off with Malcolm, and Malcolm will just heal the damage. Okay. The consequential, I mean. All right. We should I'm... probably do some thwarting then. Yes. Um, I will. So I need a All mental. All the thwarting. I need a mental. 
I will swap the only card of my deck with a card from hand. No, I can't. I'm u I used Limbo already oh. to save my skin. Ah, <laughs> need gold right. balls. All right. Um, I see him over there. Instead, I will go ahead and just play Spiritual Meditation to draw two cards. Uh, you discard get a, one from hand. A I counter do. card? I do. Have fun. Oh, I'm, I'm like right behind him. <laughs> All right. So I get a second one. Come on, mental on top. Nope. All right, so that's there. Um, let's see. Let's. What do I want to do with this hand? Blood Rage is kind of a blocker on top of my deck because I've already got one and it's max one per player, so that's unfortunate. Um, Actually, gold balls can help me with that problem. Gold balls yeah. can do everything. <laughs> it's one of my a favorite miracle characters worker. The comics. <laughs> yeah. It's like the most random mutant power to like shoot gold balls. It, and and so then they call, in the comic they they just start calling them gold balls. And he's like, no, don't do that. The name will stick. And then it does. And it does. <laughs> and like his whole, <laughs> Look his whole at arc now. is like embracing it. So then he like runs into battle like gold balls. And they're like, dude, no. They're like, okay. <laughs> uh, you can't do any thwarting at action speed, can you? Not at action speed, no. No, the best I could do this turn would be to thwart with my characters. Okay. Um, hmm. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take one threat off of Gene Pool. I'm going to play Stepping Disc to ready magic and mm -hmm. choose a magic card in my discard pile, not named Stepping Disc, and put it on top of my deck. Uh, let's do. It has to be a magic card, so it has to be the Soul Strike, which fortunately is the icon I'm looking for. That gives me a mental, which turns on my plus one thwart from my crown, so I can thwart two more off a of gene pool and get it down under that retaliate level. Mm -hmm. Nice. Um, ooh, I could take two damage, putting me at one in order to play Soul Strike. And I remember there's an energy under there that's not going to get me the stun, so maybe that's probably not worth doing. Mm -hmm. Instead, let's have uh, Gold Balls attack Unis, uh, and when Gold Balls attacks, discard the top three cards of my deck. He gets plus X attack, where X is the number of cards discarded this way. So he's going to be a four damage to okay. Unis. Down to 41. And he only takes one, because we got the Retaliate gone. Very nice. Um, and the next card on top of my deck is a Spiritual Meditation. Heck yeah, I will play that using my ability to draw two cards. And then I have to discard a card. Um, I don't think I need a clobber. Now I could do, I could do some threat removal, but then I'd probably have to flip down. He's confused. He's confused, so that's You're all already right. down. I'm coming back to hero You're form. You're coming back up? Yeah. Are you still in He's, Alter Ego? Did you? Yes, yeah, you I, need I, to I hated to uh, get rid okay. of the obligation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we already have one person in Alter Ego, so maybe you want to hold on to it. All right, I will not play it then. All righty. All right, that's my turn. Cool. All right, I don't think I have any Alter Ego stuff to do, so I'm going to flip to hero form. And let's see. So when I defeat this guy, we're going to put two more threat on Gene Pool. So we'll go to four, and then that'll kick it to five, which is still under six. That's what I'm mostly... Looking at. Yep. Um, I would also like to do some thwarting. Well, let's see. Well, the first thing that I can do is exhaust Bishop's Rifle and show that I have three resources to hit this guard for three. And then we'll have Malcolm finish him off. Yeah, there was no way around that. So nice. that'll put two on there. Malcolm takes a damage, but then... I can discard a card from my hand to heal one. Hmm. So I'm going to discard Legion for the moment. All right, so he's 
he's healed. Or actually, I could instead use his ability, discard a resource card if it has a physical, he heals any readies. Just trying to map out my turn here. Because mm -hmm. I, I have a lead from the front, so I could do, I could do some work if I readied him and played that. Why not? That sounds like fun. So I will, it's a little bit of overkill to use a strength for it, but that will, <laughs> that will actually ready him and heal him. That's his action. Nice. And then I will play lead from the front, pay for it with the stored energy. So now my guys are each plus one to their stats, and let's see. Oh. I could get Legion down there during this plus one turn as well. Let's do it. The double resource. I was, I was super excited to play self charge. Oh, uh, look at you. The supercharge, yeah. but there's another one in here. Yeah. So I'll get him down while all my guys are, are boosted up. And what does he do? After he uses a basic power, just cut a card on my deck. If it's energy, I deal two damage to an enemy. If it's mental, I remove two from a scheme. Physical, I heal two from him. So I want to get that under three, otherwise he's retaliate. Mm -hmm. So let's have Bishop thwart the gene pool. That'll take three off. Three. Yeah. And then let's have, uh, let's have Legion do something here. <laughs> I think I need to thwart the main scheme is kind yeah, of what it's looking like. I think so. So it's currently it's going to take two, mm -hmm. and then he's going to get a, a consequential here, and then my response, discard. And it's energy, so I deal two damage to an enemy. So I think that's just the villain at this point. Yep. All right. And then Malcolm, I could thwart for two, or I could hit for three. I think we want threat removal right now. Yeah. So I'll take two more off the main, and he'll take a consequential. All right. Nice. That was, yeah, that was okay. All right. Ready up and draw. Oh, I'm about to deck out, I think. One, two, three, four, five. No, I have one card left, exactly. Nice. Love it when it works out that way. Oh, man. All right. Getting three on the main. One on Gene Pool. He wants to scheme on Betsy, but mm -hmm. is confused. That's good. Yes. He's Worked attacking well. me. Let me see what's on top of my deck. Um... Let me know if you need a defense. Are you pretty low on hit points? I am. Oh, you got gold balls as well. Yep, and I'm only defending for two right now, so if you would defend for me, that would be much appreciated. What do you think? Gold balls or legion? Well, gold balls can get four damage, basically, every swing. Million your deck? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I will defend with, with legion. All right, the attack is two plus two. Four. All right. Goodbye, Legion. <laughs> Thanks for your help. All right, then I'm getting attacked. Yep. yep. Attacking you for two and a boost. Yeah, this is going to go uh, undefended. Okay. Uh, deal one damage to an ally at the mission. Give the activating enemy an additional boost card. So this oh, is nasty. another one from the campaign specific set. Uh, throw that on. Actually, I, I was going to say, let's or kill off one of my. Um, yeah, pop off Randall, please. I'd like him back in my deck since I'm about to reset. Oh, that's fair. All right. Um, yeah, because we all, all we need to do is thwart one off there. With an additional chances. boost card, which is oh, just Oh, you know what? One. I'm not thinking, though. He's the wild. Oh, yeah. He should stay there. Yeah, my we need apologies. him out there. He guarantees our success. So pop off X23. I'll take her back instead. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't thinking. <laughs> like, that's been every decision I made in this game. It's like, whoa, wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait a minute. Hold on. <laughs> All righty. So, All right. sorry, I got hit for how much? You need another uh, boost, right? Three total, yep. I flipped, uh, the next boost was just a one. Okay, so I take three, and now I am not going to trigger my ability because I don't want to deck out right now. Fair. Oh, but, uh, oh, if I don't, then I can't heal. Fooey. Tony, help <laughs> me remember. When I discard for this ability, I just I normally discard three. There's only one left. You, I think just you would just there. discard the one. Yep. It stops there. Yep. Oh, because I have two resources in my hand, so I could just heal. 
two of it straight back. But it's an of, extra encounter. But then it's another card, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, this uh, is probably our last probably round, I'll probably though, wait. In the round okay. two. All right. Right, right, so uh, we have yeah. dealt encounters. First starting players with there. Betsy. Yeah, we got to get to that. Target last for mission extermination. Like you said, it doesn't sound very nice. Yeah, there's three threats. There's form. three, and uh, confuse whoever defeats it. All right, card number one, Infinite Soldier. Just has guard because there's only two threat out there. And mm -hmm. card number two, Prelate Sidearm. Uh, attached to Unis. After he attacks and defeats an ally, place a threat on Gene Pool. I was wondering when that plus was one attack. And. War weary. When revealed, you are stunned. Boy, I like being stunned in this game. <laughs> okay, but that's all it does. That's okay. All right. Shall we run through the mission real quick yes. as, as our final thing? That's the final thing. Yeah. All right. We gotta find um, so I've got a. We know I've got a uh, physical on top, but we've got Randall out there who can use it. So we'll do our final mission attempt, discarding just three. What do you know? They can all contribute, so that <laughs> last thread is blown away. Ooh, so, yeah. when defeated, shuffle each player card at the mission into its owner's deck. Flip, oh, yeah. mission team, uh, flip mission team and this card over. So mission team, for the rest of the game, becomes a basically a, uh, an Avengers mansion. Choose a player to draw a card. Very, very handy. And our reward for finding the lost mutants uh, is we... Um, if the mission was defeated, each player adds one set-aside campaign ally to their hand. Did we set those aside earlier? So we oh, have... Yeah. Tony's on it. I know. Four <laughs> campaign-specific allies. Do you want to zoom in on these guys? Yeah, let's put these in the middle and have you zoom in. Let's get a zoom on those. So while we're, while we're getting the camera set up, what's great about this is that if you complete this mission... Like, say, say we, this was the beginning of a campaign. Mm -hmm. so, so it's the scenario one, we go on to defeat Unis. During the, the, the victory um, portion of the campaign log, uh, we would each get to choose one of these uh, to, to carry with us for the rest of the campaign. Oh, wow. And uh, they won't count against our deck size, but they're all really punchy because they each have an ability that triggers when you draw them to your hand. That's cool. <laughs> so, there's uh, like there's some shenanigans with like limbo. You can kind of put them back, draw them again, yeah. or uh, but they also have like really good stats, so they're really good to like go do uh, mission attempts as well. Mm -hmm. It's just nice to have another ally, you know, in there. Uh, particularly again, where I said that last scenario, mm -hmm. you have to do the mission. Yep. You know, you you lose if you don't. So having these kind of allies is a huge advantage in that last scenario situation. Mm -hmm. They're all wilds too, so everything yeah. matches them on the mission. Yeah, time. that's huge. The fact that they will always participate if yeah. you send them to the mission. Yeah. That's, that's why awesome. they have the draw them to your hand effects, like as opposed to like an earlier I played Marrow and yeah. I missed out on her ability by putting her to the mission. These ones are guaranteed to like, it's it's win win. You draw them to your hand, you get a benefit. Play them to the mission, it's fine. They don't mm -hmm. have you've already got their ability. Yeah, that's awesome. That's really cool. And yeah, I was looking at them, I was like, I don't even know which one I'd pick, and now I, I, I'm going to sit here and study them a little bit after we're done with the stream. But uh, let's answer some hanging questions. We saw that someone asked, uh, should we have added threat on Gene Pool when Caleb's ally was knocked out, blocking Ooh, the attack from Magic? Yes, well, that was an oversight. Yep, it was not yep. us cheating on purpose, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but that looks like the main question that we had there. Uh, we also wanted to address, there was one question from the chat that we've seen a lot, which is about the release schedule. Uh, we just want to say that uh, Iceman and Jubilee will not be coming out on the same day. Uh, that is something that is different for this phase uh, of the game, and it's just the way it is, unfortunately. But uh, don't expect that to be the same going forward. This is just a, a one-of-a-kind deal uh, rather than what our new pace is, for sure. Uh, but speaking of that, we did want to say that we know people can get a little nervous about things when things change, but we want to say that we're really excited about what's coming up mm -hmm. post-mutant you know, cycle here of all these yeah. uh, these three expansions as well as the hero packs, and so we're really excited to see what comes next. I know I am personally mm -hmm. about it. Yeah, uh, there's a lot of cool stuff in the works, so rest so assured. Rest, rest assured. assured. We're going to be you know, coming back with lots of fun stuff very soon. Yeah, people can just use this uh, this this next year with the the padded uh, time between releases. Just mm -hmm. catch up on old product, uh, mm -hmm. replay old scenarios, take new heroes and new uh, aspects and new mod sets, and just really delve into the game because there is lots more to come. It's just we had to space it out for reasons we're not going to get into. Yep. 
And I know I'm going to be using it to go back and play some of my favorites again with some of these new heroes that mm -hmm. I didn't have before. So it's going to be super fun for me. Yeah, one thing people can do that we didn't we didn't quite get to this game, but you can you can go back and play all the scenarios you want with the new standard three set because it really yeah. is different in, in bringing out like you saw. We were getting pretty close. There was four out of six on there, and so yeah. we were pretty much guaranteed to see our nemesis within the next couple of turns. I was dreading it the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> Anytime a new card got flipped, I was like, oh, please, oh, please. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we were good there. But that's what we want to say. We also wanted to leave on a high note, which is you can look for Age of Apocalypse in stores on March 29th. Um, it's going to be super exciting. We know that you all know about what the scenarios look like, but playing them for yourself is a whole different, mm -hmm. whole different ball game. I remember reading through this one, and I was like, oh, that sounds really interesting. And with the missions and everything, it really completely changes up how yeah. you can play. Lots yeah. of replayability there. Yeah, this uh, is a great wave. Great wave, yes. Great box. So, without further ado, is there anything else you all want to add? Uh, thanks for coming out. Yeah. Great. Thank you all for joining us today, and we'll see you next time.